Welcome to Structural Analysis Lectures by Soul Thinking and today we are going to see another concept in trusses. Today we will see how to find the stability of a truss, how to see if a truss is stable or not. Now before I move on I suggest you to please watch the video lecture lectures on trusses in sequence one by one so that you understand better. You can watch the video lectures from the trusses playlist. The playlist link is in the description or also you can click on the pop up on your screen. Now coming to the today's topic. Now let us talk about stability of trusses. Now you know the trusses can be stable or they can be unstable. Okay. Now a truss can be externally stable or externally unstable or it can be internally stable or internally unstable. Okay. So in a truss, okay, we had to check the stability externally okay and internally we will solve some problems on this so you will understand each and every concept okay so don't worry right now just try to understand the concept okay now how to see if a truss is externally stable okay how to check the external stability now if all the support reactions they are parallel but all okay i am talking about all not just two okay or three all the support reactions are parallel or concurrent okay then the truss is externally unstable okay so how do we check the external stability we check the support reaction okay we check the support reaction okay and how do we check the internal internal stability we check using the formula m plus r is less than or equal to 2g okay i have already made a video lecture on uh, the degree of indeterminacy of trusses there you will understand this formula okay now if m plus r is less than 2g it is unstable okay unstable but internally unstable okay so how do we check internally we check with m plus r if it is less than equal to or greater than two times of j okay so let me make it clear here i am talking about a planar truss or a 2d truss okay how do we check its stability we check the stability externally right externally and enter internally right now externally how we check if all reactions okay support reactions are parallel okay parallel or concurrent okay if they are all of them are concurrent or parallel then it is externally unstable okay and if they are not parallel okay not parallel or not concurrent okay then it is externally stable okay then how do we check the internally internal stability we check with the help of m plus r okay less than equal to greater than 2j what it is okay now now if it is if m plus r where m is the number of members or bars of the truss and r are the number of support reactions if it is less than or equal to 2j it is internally unstable okay and if it is m plus r if it is greater than two times the j j is the number of joints right then it is stable okay sorry it is if m plus r is less than two times the number of joints then it is unstable okay and if it is greater than or equal to number of two times the number of joints then it is stable okay now let us see some problems so that we understand better okay so let's move on okay we have this problem here 
we have to find the external stability and internal stability of this truss okay now now this box is about external and this is about internal okay this is about internal stability and this is about external stability okay now external stability now look at the supports they are all roller okay so what are the support reactions of a roller it is like this right of this roller it is like this if it is like it is like this now how many reactions we have we have three reactions and all of the three they are parallel right they are parallel reactions okay so all reactions are parallel right we have this condition so it is unstable right so we have externally unstable truss right now let us check the internal stability now m is the number of members how how many members we have one two three four five six seven we have m is the number of members it is seven r is the number of support reactions it is three so how how much is m plus r seven plus three is ten now number of joints j is the number of joints right it is one two three four five yes 5 so how much is 2 times j j is 5 so 2 times 5 is 10 right now what is the value of m plus r it is 10 right and what is the value of 2j it is 10 now what we have m plus r is equal to right 2j right it is equal to 2j m plus because they are both 10 so what is it it is stable right so so this truss is what externally unstable okay but internally stable right now let's move on let us see about this problem now let us check what's the external stability now let us draw the reactions first now this is a roller support and we only have one reaction right now here also we have roller support so we only have one reaction right so we have only two reactions and when you draw you know the line of action it is like this right passing through this point and the line of action of this line is like this right so they are coincident right they are passing through this point all the reactions right all the reactions are passing through this so which condition we have all reactions coincide right we the all the reactions coincide here right so we have this condition it means it is unstable right so our truss is externally unstable right unstable okay now let us talk about internal stability let us first count the, the number of members one two three four five six seven right it is seven number of support reactions are how many two one and two right so how m plus r is seven plus two it is nine how many joints we have one two three four five so 2 times j is 10 right now m plus r is 9 and 2j is 10 so m plus r is less than right 9 is less than 10 so we have this condition less than condition less than 2j so it is unstable right so this truss is what it is unstable right both ways right externally and internally right this is unstable in the both ways okay so let's move on okay now let's talk about this now let us first draw the support reactions one two three okay now you can see clearly all the reactions are not parallel these this and this this and this they are parallel right but this is not parallel to them so all of them they are not parallel right 
our reaction is parallel not true okay now let us see if they are coincide okay coincident you see the line of action of this is this right it is a line of action of this support reaction now the line of action of this is like this the line of action of this is like this right it is like this you can see they are not coincident at single point okay they coincide at two points so if they coincide at one point okay one point then we say they coincide okay so do all reactions coincide no so what is it all reactions not parallel it is true so it is stable okay and all reactions don't coincide it means it is stable okay externally stable all right now let's talk about the internal stability now let's count the number of members 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 m is 7 r is how much 1 2 and 3 m plus r is what 10 j is 1 2 3 4 5 2 j is 10 so m plus r is equal to 2 j right since m plus r is equal to 2 j so it is stable right so this truss here it is stable right externally and also internally okay so let's move on now let us talk about external stability this is the reaction at this you know pin support all right and this is a ruler we have only one reaction here now the line of action of this force is this this line the line of action of this it is this line the line of action of this it is this line all right now these lines they are not parallel to each other and they also don't coincide at the same point they coincide at two points okay so they don't coincide at the two times since they neither they are parallel nor they are coincident so they, it is externally stable right now let's talk about internal stability how many members one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve and thirteen so number of members is 13 number of reactions are 1 2 and 3 so m plus r is 13 plus 3 is 16 number of joints 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 okay so 2j is 2 times 8 is 16 okay so 16 and 16 so m plus r is equal to 2j right it is equal to 2j so it is stable right so this thing this truss is stable okay both ways externally as well as internally okay so let's move on now let us talk about this one first external so first let's draw the support reactions okay again the line of action is are like this okay you can see they are not parallel nor they are coincident so it is stable right externally stable now let's talk about internally how many members 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 right so it is 13 R is the number of reactions they are 1 2 and 3 right so 13 plus 3 is how much 16 right J is the number of joints it is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 right and 2 J is 2 times 8 it is 16 right so M plus R is equal to 2 J right so it seems they are equal so they are stable but where this is a special case this is not stable okay 
this is not internal stable why because this is a square okay a square in a truss or a rectangle like this or this it is not stable okay there has to be some connection between a and b or c and d in this truss this is a rectangle a b c d right this is square or rectangle whatever it is not a triangle so it is unstable okay although m plus r is equal to 2j okay m plus r is equal to j but it is still unstable okay remember okay you see even though m plus r is equal to 2j still it is unstable okay so this thing is what externally stable and internally unstable okay now let's move on now let us talk about this now let's first talk about the external stability we have reactions like this right because this is a pin and this is a roller so you can see all of them they are not parallel and all of them they are not coincident right because the line of action of this is like this the line of action of like is like this and the line of action of this force it is like this okay so we have two intersection points and they are also not parallel so what is it it is neither parallel nor nor coincident so it is stable externally stable right now let us talk about internal stability you can see we don't have to do the calculation okay because you see this is square right or rectangle whatever it is not a triangle right not triangle not triangle when it is not triangle it is unstable okay we don't have to do this calculation okay so this is unstable okay so this truss is externally stable but internally unstable okay so i hope you understand the concept and that's it now you will be able to check the stability of other trusses by yourself okay if you have any doubts you can comment and if you have any problems if you don't know how to solve if you are stuck please comment and i will help you so that's it for today see you in the next class thank you